Hey everyone, I'm Himal and you're watching Entertainment with Himal and welcome back to another vlog. So today we are going to be going to Port City, Colombo. So op this opened a few months ago actually in 2023 and the construction of this project started back in 2014. So for 19 years they have been building and building and building but how you say well basically they have mined sand from the shores and put it where the existing shore of colombo is and then they have sort of expanded the shore and that is how it was formed so we are going to go there we're going to see and it's very fascinating actually to see how it was built very fascinating but either way, we're gonna go and check out what they offer and, you know, have a blast. So, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. One minute of parking later. Okay, everyone. So, after we parked, we walked in and there was this very nice um, red carpet, or should I say, red road. And once we walked inside, um, this is what it looks like. So it has a very nice tropical beach vibe going on and there was music all around, which was very great. Overall, the, the presentation, perfect. All right, everyone. So we started to explore from our right side. And first of all, you see there are some king coconuts. So if you're thirsty after having hanging out at, at the beach, you can have a nice king coconut. And there's this shop, which is a big plate, also known as shawarma. Yes. And if you look closely, there's actually a kebab, not a kebab thing, but like a, a, a burning thingy to hold the meat. And that was also in Blue Orbit, so just check that out if you didn't already see it. <laughs> shameless self-promotion. <laughs> shameless self-promotion. And there was also this beach plaza, but we did not go to that. But moving on, there were like all of these mini shops. And mind you, there are shops on the other side too. And moving on, guys, there was one shop in particular. This shop, which stood out very well. It's like an Indian-style restaurant. And... We land here, bubble, uh, tea, bubble and coconut. Yes, not, bu not bubble and coconut, sorry. <laughs> bubble and potato. So that is actually the, the place where we went to to get our first item on our list. Wait, what list? Guys, I'm going through it right now and I am generally confused. Because there was no list, there was only like a menu, but like, <laughs> I don't know what I said. <laughs> Which was um, the bubble tea. I mean, I'm a huge fan of bubble tea and so is I Erangaria. So we both had to go there and we got ourselves, um, if I'm not mistaken, we got ourselves a chocolate a drink or something and there are all of these tasty toppings which you can add and you can add these type of poppings popping bubbles chewy bubbles all types of bubbles to like popping like bubble tea it's in the name guys so you can add those to make sure it is very very tasty and it was so we decided to add chewy bubbles for this one, not popping bubbles. And the popping bubbles just pop when you um, put it in your mouth. And shout out to the talented people working there. But anyways, guys, as you are seeing, they have caramel egg pudding, um, various types of toppings and popping bubbles, popping pomelo, orange and what else yeah this is an example of what they make so i got i hope you guys know what bubble tea is obviously you guys do right and here we are we got it so let's test them out okay everyone so now we are having this delicious bubble tea from bubble and tea right over there and 
Canada. So, Eranga, yeah. Tell me. Yeah, I see you're enjoying the bubble tea very much. Yes, indeed. So, this bubble tea is great because, um, so it's actually a Milo bubble tea. So, we got, usually we have two types of like main bubbles, you know, put into this thing. So, this is like the gooey bubble they added. I don't know if you can see, like the black kind of thing, you know. That's like the, My one has it. Yeah. That's like the gooey bubble, so that's a bit sticky. So it suits uh, this kind of milk bubble tea. But the other one, the popping bubble, is usually for the fruit juice kind of bubble. Yeah, it's all good, it's very tasty. Yes, so the first thing we got was a bubble tea, and now I don't know where we're gonna move on to, but we'll see what we land on. All right, everyone, so after we had our delicious bubble tea, one of my personal favorites, actually speaking. I, come on, it's tasty. Have one and it's the best. I th guys, I think I'm addicted to bubble tea. <laughs> Help. <laughs> but anyways, um, after we had our iced coffee, we went back to the beginning, to where we came from. And that is the start. And this time, we are going to be exploring the left side. So let's get on with it. Everyone, so we are back at the entrance. This is where we started before. And there are a lot of restaurants as you can see uh, here. All around this area, it's filled with restaurants. So as we are moving on, um, we are moving on to uh, trying to find something for us to eat whilst checking out what they have. And oh my God, oh my grill, that's nice. And yeah, so one which stood out to us actually was Sea King, so it's like a sea themed restaurant, and let's see what they have. <clears throat> so, oh, they have shrimp buckets. This, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Mutabak, and whatever this is, I do not, I think that's egg, is it? I'm not sure what it is. So, they have all of these on menu, and all of them look great. So, definitely thinking on getting something from here. So, these are everything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What are we going to buy? We are going to buy fish and chips. Fish and chips. Okay. Yes, fish and chips because they are very tasty. I think. Yeah, they are very tasty, and we are going to go somewhere else as well. So we can't be too full. Yes. Stay tuned because we are going. We have another place planned. So this is what we are going to be getting. So no one. I don't know how this tastes, but we we we'll just have to see. So. We are, are going to wait until our food is ready. But I had to comment on the decorations. It's just like a ship, just like a Vikings ship. It's a very nice place, actually. It has like the whole pirate um, Viking vibe, and it's a very nice place. So definitely recommend if you do come here. So we got our, we placed our order, and now we got this. I mean, this notification thingy, right there, are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got this, and when our order is ready, this is gonna beep. Yes, when beep and flash, we just take the meal. Yeah. So this is what we got, and when it beeps, we are supposed to get it. So wait until that. So we'll update you once we get the food. Now we are glancing okay, through so everything. So we're we are waiting for our fish and chips to be made. We decided to explore the rest of the area so we did until we did the whole right side and now we are continuing after the sea king with um shiok which is another shop which is part of the left side so we are going there and yeah so, shiok yeah shiok i'm pretty sure and um, now we are moving on to chabi so there are very nice menus i think this is full um, Sri Lankan food. It's steamed Sri Lankan in traditional clay pots, and they have a very good menu here as well. Uh, Sri Lankan, okay, so they have got the prawns, chicken, fish, and everything. It's very nice, unique. And moving on to food ports, that is also another Sri Lankan themed um, restaurant, I assume. Let's just check out the menus real quick. So, they, here they have, okay, okay, they have <coughs> full Sri Lankan menus, Sri Lankan menus. Clay pots and kuttu, yeah. cheesy and everything else. So this is very nice, very unique style to it. Decorations are lovely. And then moving on, come to a restaurant. Then is what? 
delicacies, yeah, delicacies. Chinese delicacies. Now that's I think that I, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, it's a German, German shop. Okay, German makes sense. Random wall because <laughs> why not? And then we yeah, are. There's also towards the end of this side. So there is Bairaha. Yeah, it, it looks like very. It looks a sausage grill place, which is very nice and very unique. And from there onwards, you have the beach with all the water activities. So, so as you can see, the whole this whole area, the whole of Port City, there it's like um, surrounded by a rock border, and apart from that is the sea. So there are like these very fun um, water sports here, where you can you know go in a boat. That's like you can when it goes, you can watch the coral. So that's very. It's a very fun area actually and then moving on um, there are water sports for kids there are those small barriers over there to I don't know whether you can see to make sure the people don't die <laughs> yeah so, yeah so these are everything which is available in this side of Port City there's also the other side of Port City which is over that area but the, that area has like this cool place where you can uh, ride in a boat and it's a very fun sport we did not go there today because actually we need three people and um, we don't have three people so it's just me and Ella guys so we didn't go there everyone so the beep it, it started to beep so i guess our food is ready so we are making our way across this sand i don't know why we are walking on the sand can we just move go to the pavement okay yeah i moved on to the pavement this is so much better than whatever he's doing <laughs> sand is going everywhere <laughs> But he decides to walk on the sand and there are sand in my shoes also i'm not too really excited about it but because it started to beep we're going to go get our food and we'll be making our way to the table oh there you go okay so erangaya is now going to collect it Okay, it looks so delicious actually. I'm looking forward to go taking it. So, whilst you get, you get a good view of the food, uh, we are oh our table is taken. Well, uh, we are, we have to move to another table, I guess. Where are we gonna go? Okay, we found ourselves a good table. Oh, yeah. Okay, everyone. So this is what we got. So this is fish ship. Fish. <laughs> this is fish. <laughs> that expression. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got fish chips with French fries and uh, with a bun. I'm pretty sure this is a bun, right? For our information, chips and French fries are the same. <laughs> no, I said, okay, then what do you? What is this then? French fries. And it this? Has, this is fried fish, better fried fish. Fish chips. Whatever. Fine, fine. So, anyways, we uh, as said before, we decided to take only one because we have another lovely um, place planned. So, we took one, but this is actually good. Loving French fries, and and then we'll be moving on to our next destination, right? Okay everyone, so now we are heading out of Port City. So this was our first experience at Port City. Erangayas, the drivers. Yes, I have been. <laughs> yes, the <driver>. he. <laughs> he's, um, yeah, he's first, not no, paid, he's second not, time. Not paid high salaries. <laughs> He is, I'm paying his salary and he's paying for me. Nice. Okay, so now we are on the way and all these lands, for your information, all these lands are not sure whether they are to be taken by any hotels to, um, you know, build. 
but anyways this is supposed to be port city so it's supposed to have apartments and houses and what not and look at the view this is just amazing so as i said that rock border covers the entire area and apart from that border it's the ocean i mean i'm i i hope everyone knew that <laughs> i hope everyone knew that and um, like it stops from there i actually thought it covered the whole area but it stops from there so the cove um the cove stops from over there i'm actually unsure whether you can go on the rocks can you go on the rocks uh, i don't think no no i don't think i uh, i mean i don't want to die by testing <laughs> so yeah but it's a very nice place and as i said look there's there are all these buildings so there's a like you know the the leaning towers colombo city center over there next to the leaning towers and hilton cinnamon grand and all these places are like this and it's very beautiful it's like another country basically so now we are making our way out of port city that is the exit that is it and we will see you all at our next destination which is which is we still don't know let's see okay okay all right everyone so now we are at guess what it is yes we are at marino beach hotel for a high tea so we are at we are going to be having enjoying ourselves at the high tea so we are currently at marino beach hotel so we'll catch you once we are inside so inside after we got checked in after we confirmed our reservation both of us went inside to search for our table and everything was very nicely decorated there was a lot of people there and also there was this beautiful violinist and a pianist playing lovely songs as a duet so it was very nice the mood was set perfectly for uh, something you know for a high tea it just has the mood and finally we found our table and yeah so let's go explore all right guys so I'm, so now we are making our way to the food as you can see over here there's a very nice um, music playing that we're missing the star of the show So now guys you are looking at the other side of the buffet which is which has shawarmas pizzas samosas vade um a chili paste of some sort and it was good and they had whipping cream pancakes red velvet cake cakes chocolate mousses uh, cakes in glasses yes that's a thing buns honey trickle pancakes and these juices don't even get me started there was a black currant juice which was to die for so very great so here i'm showing you the unduade which i was talking about and cutlets there were many beautiful and tasty cutlets and there was also tea so high tea <laughs> with the items you would have for tea there was obviously tea with um fresh hot milk so you can put fresh milk into your coffee not coffee your tea they i they also did have coffee yes guys so uh, until me 
and I just serve our things from the buffet. I'll be talking to y'all um, about what I loved about the place and I seriously loved it because there was such a nice um, selection of food. The decorations were great. There was great service, great decor. And the one thing which stood out to me as, you know, I'm such a musical person, was the music. I cannot explain how much it meant to me, like not meant to me as in, in that sort of sense, but the music playing just made my day. You know, I feel music makes anyone's day better and it's just amazing. So these two did amazingly well in what they did. Okay guys, so this is what our plate looks like. So I decided to get um, Udu Vada Vade and Parip Vade. Uh, it's good. And I got myself a pizza because I'm such a fan of pizza as you saw in last in the last vlog. I made myself a pizza. This time it's already made. But what can I do? And I got, this is not a chocolate sandwich. What is this, are you? Okay, this is a cheese sandwich. And this is a tart. Not too, I, I don't know how it's gonna taste, but we'll have to see. And I also got myself a nice coffee. So what did you get, Aya? I got uh, blackcurrant juice. Yes, this is blackcurrant juice, not wine. My favorite thing, or my is gonna need a bite from this as well, with the sweet chili sauce. I mean, look, I, I, I didn't want to have it. I mean, But I'm forcing him to have it. So yeah. So it's to now, there's no choice. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, the usual stuff, kochi bites, Oh, it's right now. Looks good. Let's yep, see. looks good. So, uh, we are going to eat and we will come back to you once we are done. Okay, everyone, so now we are at the desert area and Nirangaya is serving himself some de delicious pancakes. And uh, while he does that, what is that? Oh, whipped cream. Okay. There is a lot of uh, items on the menu here. So, there are Cakes, pan oh there's pancake syrup. Take it. Pancake syrup. Yeah, see he looks he looks interested by it. There are a lot of cake items, uh, chocolate sauce, strawberry sauce, cakes. And also as we got before, there are these iced coffees, black currant, fizzy juice and faluda. I did not go for the faluda, I actually took the iced coffee and had a sip of black currant juice and both of them are very tasty. Yeah, so that's that and there's another desert area over there so we're gonna move on after we serve from here. This is the other um, the, the desert area so they have a wonderful the star of the show a delicious chocolate fountain that doesn't that look mesmerizing him jujubes. Ju okay jujubes and okay and he's gonna do it and he okay oh what is that Cover the whole area. I swear this man. I am furious. Okay. Better cover cover the whole thing, okay? I'm gonna do it with the final. Okay, better do it. I'm also going to take Ooh. Okay, good, good, good. Unlike Eranga, I yeah, I'm going to be taking something else. I think I, I'm like a fan of Papo, so I'm gonna be taking that. And okay, yes, I'm gonna be covering 
this okay now this is how you do it Taya listen and look from a pro all right guys so we are back at our table and this is what I got uh, ignore I uh, don't ask me why it's like not filled up properly I I was too full to <laughs> with all the other I just took a little bit of dessert and I still have the iced coffee uh, should have refilled that I'm going to go refill on that but this is what the sugar loving got <laughs> so what did you get okay so i think i have my favorite pancakes with whipped cream and chocolate sauce that's the best and pineapples coated on chocolate syrup and there's some oh cream. the chocolate syrup which you half did it's not half it's look 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 there's a thing here you're supposed you're supposed to fill it properly but he didn't so that's not i mean what can we do but this is um so i i had to tell you guys what i got so i'm not sure what that is that's like a french custard something or that's like a cake right Taya? this one yeah and i got one pancake <laughs> should have gotten another pancake but i got one pancake and uh, this is a red velvet cake i'm pretty sure combined with um, pepper covered with chocolate but this time it's actually fully covered. I, I, I can explain. <laughs> it was fully covered before I put it on the plate, okay? Right, everyone. So, whether it would be us sitting down and going to Port City or going to Marino Beach Hotel, both these experiences were very great experiences. We came outside after eating, after we were done with everything, and they had such a nice view of the sea which is very nice so if y'all are planning to I don't know if y'all are planning to go visit um, this area or if y'all want to enjoy yourselves by with a nice afternoon with your friends family you can definitely go ahead and come to this place I 100% recommend it and not only that but if you all want more details they will be down in the description below so make sure to check it out and yeah just like that our experience at marino beach hotel high tea buffet comes to an end all right everyone so i hope you all enjoyed this is me himala this is erangaya so this is our second ever food vlog so i hope all of you all enjoy and we will see you all in the next one Oh, 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 oh,